we started off with cardboard box drums with duct tape, patched up sticks. We use, we patch it up, we use it, we use uh, pencils, rulers, whatever we can find to patch up for a stick. And we use uh, the cardboard box. Later on after that, we got a drum and we used the uh, green garbage bags to, to keep changing it over and over on the frame. Of them have a story to them. Some of them we don't really um, remember the, the true meaning of it, but a lot of them we do. And when you dance um, a song that somebody else made from long ago, or you make um, a dance from an old song, you're, you're honoring that, um, that person and that, that tradition to, to carry on because it's, um, it's such a strong feeling you have inside when you hear the drums and you hear the singing and you, you dance to your heart's content. It, it's the best feeling that you have from way deep inside. <laughs> I dance to like you'd see like a caribou going this way and another one going that side and a hunter is on top of the mountain he's looking down at the animals looking down like that and you know when he puts his arms up this way he starts seeing the whole land you see his animals right down there when he goes down to get the uh, get the animal he cuts it up and goes back on top of the mountain and you start dancing the song Yulim Nawani means at the top of the mountain. Drum dancing is my favorite. Yeah. It's because um, I am, I'm always happy when I'm drum dancing. I like to show it. Yeah. <laughs> since they started, I think, I don't remember the years again, maybe later, and uh, 
in 2000 there's some you know the Hanover I think in Germany was one of the main one of the first big trips that I've seen and that was awesome you know just I think that's what drew a lot of the others in is to see what was going on you know and then not only that they could do they, could, they were gonna be able to continue the culture the traditional dancing and stuff but the trips take advantage of going out there and doing these things for the rest of the world you know that's awesome eh? Uh, they had a chance more recently to go to Yellowknife on, uh, on uh, the Prince William and Kate to that one there. Just, I don't know how long they were speaking about it after the trip. You know? <laughs> that was awesome. That was really cool. You know? So yeah, the group, I'm really proud of the group. It's just overwhelming how much of them, when you get them together in, in, a, in one place, uh, wow, you got to think, geez, we got that many young people in town. <laughs> Oh, <laughs>